Hey, I'm Tara Stiles, and today I'm going to show you some inversion poses that you can do at home. Inversions are basically getting your legs above your heart. So anything that's upside down, headstand, forearm stand, handstand, or just throwing your legs at the wall, or swinging upside down, anything in that vein is an inversion. And it's really good for you because it's letting your circulation go in the opposite direction, and you're just going to feel revitalized after you do them. First one you can do is just lay flat on your back and just throw your legs straight up in the air or it's even better and more restorative to throw your legs up the wall so you just have the wall to completely support you. And this pose will be really great to completely restore you if you're really tired in the middle of the day and you just have a little bit of time to kind of reset everything, this is a good one for you. The next pose I have for you guys is headstand. Headstand is an amazing pose. They call it the king of yoga poses because it has so many benefits for your body and your brain. It just makes you feel really great after you do it. So a key to getting into headstand effectively is alignment. So you want to try to get your hips over your shoulders before you try to kick up or anything crazy like that. And you can also use the help of a wall if you want to. The first thing to come into it is there's two ways. You can either put your hands on the ground in a tripod headstand, but I like this way um, better because you're more having weight on your head as well as your forearms and it's less tiring so you can stay for a longer period of time. You can just come and bring your hands like this and your top of your head is just going to go into your hands and you're just going to put all the weight on the top of your head and you can push up on your toes and you're just going to walk your feet in all the way as far as you can so your hips and shoulders are in alignment and then you're just going to kick one leg up to the air and be careful not to swing just reach the leg all the way up and use your flexibility behind you and reach the leg up so high that the other one will come up off the ground and then you'll be in a headstand and you can hang out there for as long as you want but um, if you've never done one before make sure to have somebody there with you in case you fall over but if you fall over it's not a big deal if you've ever done a somersault just tuck your head and you can roll over the next pose I have for you guys is forearm stand so this pose actually requires a lot of back strength instead of arm strength that's a common um, misunderstanding about it so it's a really good pose to work on your back strength so you're just going to come into a downward dog and bring your forearms to the ground and you also want to make sure that your forearms are coming together instead of splaying out to the side. And the same thing in headstand, you're just going to walk your feet in so your hips are on top of your shoulders and you can just lift one leg up into a downward dog split and then just use your flexibility again to kind of pull the other leg all the way up and then you can just hold that there for a few minutes. And also in this pose you want to think of really keeping your stomach pulled in and together so you don't get the sway back of a banana back kind of feeling. You want to keep it everything tight together so you have a straight line up and down in the pose and then just come out of that one. The last pose I have for you guys is handstand. Handstands are a ton of fun. We've all done them at some point in our lives. And one of the main tricks to sticking them is just the alignment, same as in headstand and forearm stand. So it's just about getting your shoulders over your wrists and then adding your hips over your shoulders, over your wrist. You can just come into a downward dog and come up on your toes and walk in a little bit and reach one leg up into the air into a downward dog split and just using the flexibility of the leg instead of flinging yourself up, try to just lift up into the pose that way and your chances of success will be better. Those are some fun inversions that you can do at home, so have fun upside down. May Miss India, only on Zoom. Namaste India. Main hu Shriya Kishor. Main Mumbai ki rehne wali hu jahan sapne haqeeqat ban jate hain. Ek trained hotelier hone ke naate mujhe khana banana aur dusron ko khana khilana bahut hi pasand hai. Kitabein padhna, logon se milna aur desh videsh ki sair karne mein bhi main ruchi rakhti hu. हर हिंदुस्तानी नारी की तरह मेरा भी एक सपना है सपना मिस इंडिया बनने का दिल मेरा ना सही मगर चेहरा मेरा कुछ बुरा नहीं दिल सच्चा है मेरा और खुद पे है मुझे पूरा यकीन फोर्थ प्लेस ऑफ द लेडीज माउ असादा विद Tango from Scent of a Woman.
is a jewel of the talent. And I would think the last 24 hours have been the worst of her career. A career that's just gone onwards and upwards like a meteor. And suddenly, down to earth with a bump, out of the medal. It seemed inconceivable, but that's what happened. Yeah, she wasn't coming here for fourth place by any stretch of anybody's imagination. And uh, I can hardly believe that we're, we're seeing her in the first half of the gala. Just amazing. And she contributed to what was a fascinating ladies' competition. The standard of the short program in particular was just incredibly high. Remember that triple axel she did in the free as well? Yeah. The second would have got her a medal. आज क्या बनाने वाले हो आप? मैंने आज बनाने वाले क्यों? इसके नाम मैं रखा हूँ बुरा इसलिए अच्छा ही। अगर जो चीज़ सब बुरा बुरा है तो जो होता है वो जो देवी माता का बना रहे सब बुरा चीज़ बुरा इंसान को कैसे मतलब ऐसे ही खत्म किए तो जो नहीं सच रहे ना उनको कैसे मार मार दिए थे क्योंकि वो ब तो इसी हिसाब से मैं बना रहा हूँ बुराई से अच्छे कितना टाइम लगेगा बनाने के लिए अंदाज से ये अंदाज़ भी लगेगा छः घंटे से ऊपर लगेगा छः घंटे तक तो क्या बनाने वाले हो क्या बुराई से अच्छे की विजय के लिए क्या दिखा के बनाने वाले मैं इसे कर रहा हूँ कि कि जो शेर है शेर बना रहे हैं मतलब उसके � तो उसको सर क्या कर रहा है आटा कर रहा है मेरे शासन को सर पे इसे आटा कर रहा है फिर इसके अंदर के जो फेस है फेस देवी नगर में